Brian Dulesky with Able Distributors. Today we're talking about the installation and setup tips for the Napoleon NS18 side discharge heat pump. Now, we call it the NS18. It actually has a much longer model number, so if you see the longer model number, don't be afraid. You got the right unit. So let's get into the install and setup and some of the things you need to know. I really love this piece of equipment. I think it's going to work really, really good for every situation. So the line set on both the three ton and the five ton, three quarter, three eighths. Pretty easy. Max length, 98 feet, so just short of 100. Max lift in that run is 50 foot. So it's perfect for almost every single insta uh, install. We're gonna have a pad and a stand. Now obviously, if you're using it as a heat pump, you're gonna want our 18 inch stand, get it up out of the snow. It's open on the bottom. So when it goes into the frost, it can just dump and shed the ice and shed the water and then continue to run. We put that stand on top of a pad. That way you don't get weeds and grass and everything growing underneath it. Makes it nice, neat and clean. Now, you could use this as just a really, really quiet, really high efficiency modulating AC. Eliminate the stand, put it right on a pad. It'll work for you. The NS18 is going to be perfect for Unico is what we sell our small duct high velocity system. We sell a lot of it. We're the number one uh, seller in Chicago land. It'll also work on the space pack. Both those are set up for heat pump right from the factory. It's perfect. When you do this, you're going to want to make sure you get a dual fuel thermostat. We've got about seven models that we carry here at Able Distributors. We can absolutely help you with that and a wiring diagram. Dimensions. So let's take a look at the units first. What you're looking at now is the three ton and the five ton. The five ton is a little taller and wider than the three ton. So let's get into the dimensions. Three ton, 20 inches deep, 37 wide, 33 tall. The five tons, a little less deep, a little wider, and a little taller. It's not double tall, but it's a little taller. It's 17 inches deep, 43 inches wide, and 53 inches tall. All right, when you set this up, these come in a two slash three ton and a four slash five ton, which means we only have two units. You can stop it at two ton if you want. You can put it in three ton, let the thing modulate and run, run the way it should. Same thing with the four or five. You can shut it off at four ton if you want, or you can let it modulate, do its thing. Inside the outdoor unit is a dip switch, SA2. And what this does, this one bank of four switches does everything you need to adjust on this unit. So dip switch number one is for cat capacity, just this first dip switch. Up is large, so it's in a three ton mode. If, it's, if this was on a three ton, that's in a three ton mode. If it was on a five ton, that's in a five ton mode. Up is large. If you move that first dip switch down, you'd be limiting to a two ton or a four ton. The second dip switch, number two, just up or down is your only choice, is to frost. It comes from the factory standard, it comes up, or in the down position, it's strong. And since we are in Illinois, in Chicagoland, I'm gonna tell you that you're gonna always wanna move that switch to strong. So whether or not you limit the capacity, that's on you. In our neck of the woods, I'm gonna tell you to move that dip switch into strong capacity for the uh, defrost. Now, dip switch three and four, I'm not gonna go into this too deep. Their instruction manual is very complete. It shows you everything you need to know. Depending on how you move dip switch three and four, you've got three settings that it could be. Standard, which is how it is now, it's gonna come that way from the factory. Strong just means that it's gonna to get to its modulation rate faster. So it's gonna go from start to try and find out where, how, how far up on the modulation range it's gotta go. It's gonna move faster. So if I was to put this on a Unico or Space Pack, I would absolutely put it in a strong setting. Everything else, you could leave it in the standard setting. And if you find that it lags behind on a really hot day, you could always move it to strong uh, down the road. The economy, the energy save mode, just means that it's gonna start and it's gonna move very slow. So if it can you know, satisfy that thermostat before it modulates all the way up, you save energy, you save electricity. Honestly, I don't know 
if I'd use it. I think I'd go either standard, which it comes in, or the strong. Charging the system, it's a little different than everything else on the planet. Everything else on the planet, it kind of gives you enough for X amount of feet and an A-coil. This does not include the A-coil. So it comes charged for a 25 feet of line set. You're gonna to have to add six ounces for the A-coil. So if it's 25 feet or less, you don't have to mess with the line, the, the line set charge, but you gotta add for the A-coil. Everything over 25 feet, you're gonna add 0.32 ounces per foot of line set. So it's pretty simple there. Some of the other things you need to know is the range. Cooling, five degrees to 129 degrees. Why is it important? Because you're not gonna use this in a server room. Because you may have to cool a computer room below five degrees, you just can't do it. You, you, you gotta go another way, use another piece of equipment. Heating, minus 22, to 75 degrees. So if you need heat above 75 degrees, you gotta go a different way. If it's 75 degrees out, this is not gonna fire up heating. It's 100% capacity to minus five. Mind blown, truly, truly amazing. The coil. So we have Aspen coils that's a perfect match for this and it'll get you the rebate. But what I'd like to mention is if you have an existing TXV Fin-on coil, which means it's not a microchannel coil. If you've got a system that's maybe three, four years old, it's a 410 system. Again, it's fin on tube. It's got a TXV and you just want this for an AC and you're not going to use it as a heat pump. By all means, cut off that outdoor unit, wire up Y and C, throw this thing on and you've just installed a really efficient, modulating, quiet side discharge AC. Low voltage connections. It's a little different here too. We're used to the Bosch heat pumps and other heat pumps where you only need four low voltage wires. This one, one more, the R. So you're gonna power the board inside this outdoor unit all the time. So you've got R to power the board, Y for your AC, C your common, just like a normal unit, B would be your reversing valve, and D, when it goes into defrost, it's gonna send power back to the furnace to fire up the furnace so you don't blow cold air into the house. Breaker size, pretty simple there too. Three ton, they recommend a 35 amp breaker, minimum of 25. Five ton, 45, minimum of 35. Pretty simple. So again, beautiful, a beautiful looking unit. The only other thing when you're dealing with heat pumps is when you wire a humidifier. If you wire it off of the humidifier contacts on the board of a furnace, typically those will not energize the humidifier in cooling. And you gotta remember that when you're in heat pump mode, that furnace still thinks it's in cooling. So you're gonna wanna set your humidistat up at the thermostat to work anytime it needs humidity. So then it'll be easy for you to add humidity even with the AC on in heat pump mode. The only thing you're gonna to have to remember is to shut your humidistat to off come summer so you're not adding humidity. And that's it. The Napoleon side discharge heat pump, the NS18, comes in two sizes, the three ton, five ton. You can diminish them to a two ton and a four ton. I gotta tell you, this thing for underneath decks, if you gotta stack two ACs, if you've got just a little bit of room between the sidewalk and the house for a side discharge, it makes all the difference in the world. And honestly, in our neck of the woods with snow and ice and everything else, a side discharge heat pump may make more sense than having the fan facing up. I think it will. That's the NS18 in stock at all the ABLE branches. If you need anything, let us know. Brian Doleski, ABLE Distributors.